Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG scale box. I've gone ahead and created a quick example here and you will find the scale box is right here. What we're going to do is in our example we have text with the name of Barnabas on it. If I was to write the text Maxima Super Furious the Awesomeness you'll notice it goes off of the sides of my intended widget. Well, let's go ahead and fix that. So, I have this scale box here, where we already have Maximus Decimus the Conqueror inside of it, and you notice it fits. I have anchored our scale box so that it goes left to right and fits with a little bit of padding on each side, so that way, as you can see by the green outline, it's intended to fit at the top of this background image. Inside of the scale box, I have a text, which is set to center align with my text. So if I was to change, change the text to Barnabas again, you'll notice it fits and scales perfectly fine. Now if it was Barnabas the Awesome, because he has upgraded, it still fits and it's a little bit smaller. And let's say it's the second Barnabas the Awesome, you'll notice the text scales even further to fit our left to right. On our scale box, you have the options of scaling up and down or both. So for example, I want this to fit the vertical, I could scale up, if I want to fit just the left to right, I can scale down, or I can scale both depending on the size. I only want this to scale down because I want to fit left to right. Stretch, you have none, which does nothing to the text. You have fill, which will attempt to fill the text as best as possible based on your layout options. However, as you notice, it will not scale it down. You have scaled fit, which works perfectly fine for what we want. However, if our box was to change vertically, it might make it go outside. We have scaled fit X, which is our intention here. X is left to right, and we want it to fit within our left to right. If we change this to scale fit Y, you'll notice it now goes off this to the sides, but our text box scales perfectly to fit the top to bottom. Scale to fill does basically the same, just in the X or Y direction, and then user specified, basically depending on your number here, it will scale up or down until it fits appropriately. Finding the correct stretch option is what counts. Our goal is to fit it left to right, therefore we scale to fit X, and now you can see, based on our canvas panel and our scale box and all of our other options, we can go ahead and we can have it fit appropriately left to right, which was the goal of our project.